The potential to recycle the beautiful timber in an unwanted piano opens up lots of possibilities. We've decided that the first project is to make a bedhead and base out of one of the pianos. One thing that is important to remember is the cast iron frame at the back of the piano is very heavy. So make sure it's well supported and not likely to topple over. If in any doubt, get some help and lay it on its back before you start dismantling it. Okay, we've pulled it all apart. Now we've just got to select the bits that are going to come together into a bed. The top piece is just over 1500 millimetres wide, the size of a queen size bed. So that will form a good base for the head. Now let's have a look at these bits. Okay, that's that a bit scarred, a bit messy. but check the other, the other side, side Dean. Oh yeah, that's good. Beautiful. Yeah, no, that'll work. The braces from the end of the keyboard are perfect for the legs or lower supports for the headboard. They're good and strong and we can easily screw them to the underside of the head. Right, yeah. Yep. That looks good. Okay, what we've done is saved the end pillars and they're actually going to look really good at either end of the head. The piano hinge will work well to fix the front of the keyboard cover to the top of the bed head. There are about 58 small screws to remove and we'll save them to use again later. No point wasting anything if we can use it again. Excellent. Dean's idea is a good one. The keyboard cover fits perfectly between the pillars and the hinge is the ideal way to attach it. Now we need to find something to fit at either end of the headboard to finish off the top of the pillars. The piece we're cutting is from under the keyboard. It's laminated, so to avoid splitting the laminate, Dean cuts the mark with a sharp knife and then two millimetres into the waist side makes another cut. This will ensure a clean finish on the cuts. Oh, great, okay. Uh, so, uh, choose your weapon. Hand saw, motor saw. Oh, electric saw. All right, um, you mark, I'll cut. No, me, Dean, you cut. Go on. All right, I'll mark. We'll need to cut some blocks for packing under the pieces to allow the blocks to sit level. We'll glue and clamp these bits to here rather than try and screw it. We don't want it splitting. Good idea. We use some leftover jarrah and the blocks sit perfectly atop the pillars. Ah, perfect. Dean, this is going to be great. The lower front panel is exactly the right size for the foot of the bed. Here we go. Cool, that looks good. I think it's going to be perfect, actually. Yeah, yeah but uh, just lay it on its front, Dean. That's it. So, Dean, we'll need to cut some jarrah to go in here to brace between the side legs or pillars and the top. And the other thing we'll need to do is actually cut a bit of infill for down in here because this is where the base is getting bolted to the side pillars and it needs to be nice and strong so we'll have to even, even that up. Alright, so if you can take off all the paraphernalia, those fittings, uh, I'll go and find the jarrah, we can cut it and glue it on. Alright? No worries. Thanks. Now this little section of timber is going to be visible in the end product, so we'll just protect it from the saw blade, we don't want to scratch it. Okay, Dino. Yep. The side pillars need to be fixed with some brace blocks to ensure the foot will be strong enough to support the bed base. So we cut some jarrah and fix it to either end. Okay. I've got that. Hold that flush with the bottom end there. Yep. Good. Okay, beautiful. Right. Oh, very nice. Ah, uh, the finishing touches. Very nice, very nice. Good. Print that. You'd never know it was a piano. Nice. Well, you've made the bed. Yep. You're going to line it? All I need is a book and a rest. Book and arrest, isn't that in Romania? No, you Romania, I'm gonna get a book. Then have a rest. Because the old piano was donated, the whole thing cost less than $20 to make.